Direct Metal Laser Sintering, or DMLS, is an advanced additive manufacturing process that uses high-powered lasers to fuse together metal powder into three-dimensional objects layer by layer. DMLS, pioneered by the German company EOS in Munich, began in 1995 with the introduction of the EOSINT M250 DMLS system. This system was made for making metal tools for plastic molding. This marked the start of rapid tooling. In 2004, the EOSYNT M270 was the first commercial DMLS system that was introduced into the market with a fiber laser. Members of our team acquired an EOS M270 in 2004, making it one of the first machines of its kind in the US. Our capacity is always expanding. DMLS begins with a digital 3D model of the desired component. This CAD file serves as the blueprint for the entire manufacturing process. A software slices this CAD file layer by layer and support material is added where it's needed. Once the CAD file is finalized for production, the file is sent to the DMLS machine. The machine deposits a thin layer of metal powder, typically aluminum, titanium, stainless steel, or high nickel exotic alloys that is evenly spread across the build platform inside of the DMLS machine. Using a high powered laser, the machine selectively melts that metal powder according to the digital design. The laser precisely fuses the metal particles creating the first layer of the object. This is repeated layer by layer onto the existing structure until the entire object is formed. DMLS is widely used in various industries. In aerospace, DMLS is used to create lightweight complex parts such as turbine blades, brackets, and structural elements that help improve the performance and fuel efficiency of the aircraft. DMLS can also be used in the medical field for the production of custom implants and prosthetics with intricate geometries, ensuring a perfect fit for each patient every time. Automotive engineers love the iterative and prototyping capabilities of DMLS in order to test multiple versions of a design before millions of dollars are spent in production tooling. The costs of DMLS manufacturing are mainly driven by recoding time, laser time, and material choice for your part. Laser time is directly related to the cubic volume of the part as well as how much support material is needed to support the part. Different materials will also affect the laser time based on different power requirements to center each material. Recoding time is the time it takes the machine to evenly spread the next layer of powder across the build plate so the laser can start centering again. Recoding time increases with build height. The more layers in the build, the more recoding time is affecting your cost. Build orientation is one of the last factors factors in the cost drivers for DMLS. While you might optimize the orientation for a very fast build, you might accidentally add more support, which affects your post-processing time up to three-fold. What sets Evology apart from other additive manufacturing companies is our extensive 30 years of experience in direct metal laser sintering. I challenge you to find a team with more experience than us in the United States with DMLS. Evology boasts a diverse array of multiple machines, each loaded with a standard material such as aluminum, miraging steel, 316L, and 174 stainless steel. What truly distinguishes Evology is our remarkable efficiency. With an average delivery time of just three days from the point of order in DMLS. This swift turnaround is a testament to our dedication to meeting our clients' needs promptly. Quotes and hours, delivery in days. In additive manufacturing, the possibilities are endless. It's not just a manufacturing process, it's a gateway to innovation.